Hi, it's Lauren here. I have this star patio tabletop fire pit with me to look at. This is perfect if you guys are looking for kind of a personal fire pit that you can use both indoors or outdoors. The assembly is nice, quick, and simple. You guys have a steel chamber on the bottom that you put onto the metal base. Inside that, it does have a cotton ball. This is gonna be where you guys actually are gonna pour rubbing alcohol into and then use a lighter to ignite it. That's gonna give you the flame. When you guys go to fill this up to light it, it is recommended that you use 70 or 91% bioethanol as the fuel. Your typical over-the-counter rubbing alcohol is gonna do the trick. It is important to note though that you guys do not wanna fill this greater than one inch from the top, so you wanna watch how much alcohol you are putting in there. On the top, you have the design, which has the trees, it has the deer on the side here as well, which looks nice, and it is made of tempered glass, so it's nice and strong. So I'm gonna show you guys what it's like to actually light this. So I'm putting the isopropanol alcohol into the canister here and then using my lighter to ignite it. You can see that the flame starts off small but then does gradually grow bigger to encompass kind of the entire tempered glass structure. The tempered glass itself is warm to the touch so you wanna make sure that you guys are not touching this while it's burning. The base itself does a nice job of staying pretty cool but if you guys are using this inside or on a really delicate surface, you may wanna have something underneath of it just in case. The flame looks really nice. It's really realistic. Looks just like a campfire flame. I would say in terms of the heat, it definitely does warm the area up and you can expect honestly probably about 12 inches above the tempered glass is where I can still really feel this heat nice and warm. So you do want to be mindful of that depending on where you guys are going to place this in the house. When you guys go to put the flame out, you want to use the extinguisher that it came with. Simply put it right over the top and then you slowly press the flame all the way down and that way you know that the flame is completely out. It does recommend that when you guys are done, you do wanna let this cool, and it is important that you do always empty the alcohol out after each use, just in case, because that is highly flammable. With the rubbing alcohol, it gives off a really cool flame, and the nice thing about this fire pit is that it actually lasts for over an hour, and that's something that sets it apart from certain other smaller tabletop fire pits. They normally don't last that long. The awesome thing about using alcohol for this type of flame is that it burns clean, so you guys do not have to worry about smoke, or actually getting anything on your ceiling if you're using it inside. This is perfect if you guys are looking to use this inside your house as a centerpiece, or if you're eating outside, you can even use it, or just anything to give you a really nice ambiance to your setting. It's fairly lightweight. The design itself is very rugged. You have a metal steel base, which is nice and firm, so you don't have to be worried about this tipping over. The glass beads surrounding it, I think aesthetically just make it look very nice. And then with the design that you have on the tempered glass, I think it's really cool because you guys can kind of angle this to get whatever view you'd like. So the design overall is pretty neat. The fact that it's small and portable is really nice because it does allow you to move this from one place to another. If you're looking to pick up this fire pit, there's gonna be an affiliate link in the comments and description below. That does help us out if you purchase through there. Please like this video, subscribe, and we'll see you on the next one.